what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube, I do vlogs, I basically share every aspect of my life. Today I wanted to talk about police and mental health. Now if you know me, you know I've had quite a lot of involvement with police because of my mental health. If you don't know me, then that becomes a surprise. Or easily they've saved my life more times than I care to mention. I'm going to put a trigger warning on this video just because I'm going to be talking about suicide attempts. So if you're going to be triggered by stuff like that, please click off the video, watch one of my other videos. I've got loads of videos. So, the first ever involvement in police and mental health I had when I was in Preston, which is Lancashire in the UK. I had a psychotic episode in which I thought I was being followed by a man on a bike. I was in a park about to jump off a bridge and then this man appeared and I just ran and then the police showed up and asked what was wrong and I said there's a man chasing me can't you see him? Psychosis <laughs> and they placed me under a section 136 the mental health act which at the time was a 72 hour hold Currently it is now a 24 hour hold that the police have on any person who they think is struggling with a mental illness. They take you to a place of safety which can be in a mental health hospital, general hospital, police station. Now I am lucky in the sense I've never been taken to the police station under the Mental Health Act. So that's a big bonus. I have been in a police station, but not for no, not for that. <laughs> Why do police get involved in mental health? Isn't that down to the NHS? You would think the NHS would do something to help people in mental health crisis, but the best we get are crisis lines. And let me insert a brief clip of what happened to me when I called a crisis line. The problem is that they don't sound like they're being challenged. Thank you, it's true. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? So yeah, I got a hung upon. <laughs> a hung upon by the crisis team. So, I don't call the crisis team anymore. If you want to see the whole video, again, I'll link it in the description down below. It's actually one of my most popular videos. <laughs> So, but police get involved when you're outside. You can be in your own flat because they can get a section 135 warrant, or outside is a section 136. Now, I've been on both. I've been removed from my flat forcibly by police. They literally picked me up, so um, yeah, I lead an exciting life. I haven't had any police involvement since February this year. They only got called because I walked out of hospital. When I was going to be going inpatient, I walked out because I needed to get some clothes. The police after me, but I made it home and got my clothes and a few other things like my unicorn I, mean, I don't know who my unicorn is my unicorn is my emotional support stuffed animal I take it everywhere with me even to uni my unicorn comes everywhere with me because it's, it's a comfort item I went on a tangent here police get involved when you are arrested yourself or others. If you if you're suicidal, if you self harm in public, you will need to arrest yourself. If you're psychotic they can take you to a place of safety. Can I just say, the back of police vans are the most uncomfortable thing in the world. 
But there's no seatbelt. <laughs> so, if that thing crashes, you're going head first into a fucking metal wall. Met police fans have cameras and microphones so they can talk to you. But police get involved when no one else is there. A crisis team could call the police, a helpline known as Shout, which is a text mental health line here in the UK, okay, on screen. Check them out, they're actually quite helpful. They can always save you from you. And they only call the police if you are going to kill yourself or you're too psychotic to function. Police and mental health is a subject that I want to cover and I want to talk more about because police take more calls than the NHS relating to mental health. So it's an important topic. I can share my experiences of being on a 1v6. I've only ever had bad experience with police officers once. I believe the police have been very helpful actually when it comes to mental health. When they take your day and either have to stay with you and a lot of times I'd already acted on my thoughts and taken an overdose. So they had to take me to A&E. But they act they have to supervise us. If you have any questions about police and mental health, please leave them in the comments down below and I will happily answer them in, in the video. I will come back to this subject. I know I've been a bit taught on my experience with police and mental health, but if you want to know more, let me know and I will see you in my next video. Peace.